Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. Dr. AFib is your expert source on living with atrial fibrillation. Today we're going to be talking about a very important question I get uh, frequently from my patients, uh, which is, when should I go to the emergency room? When do I need urgent medical attention? And this is a common question that I get because patients want to feel or have some sort of guideline to know when is it safe to be at home, when is it that they should really go to the emergency room or get some expert uh, or should I say urgent uh, medical attention. And it's important to kind of have a, a gauge of what uh, you typically experience or what you feel when you have episodes of atrial fibrillation. The problem with giving this type of advice is that there's no clear guideline that says, okay, if your heart rate is 150 for five minutes, then you should go to the emergency room. And the reason why there's no clear guideline for that a specific number like that is because people feel their symptoms so differently. Uh, I've had patients who have had elevated heart rates 120, 130 for weeks at a time and they are asymptomatic and they have had and they're very perfectly stable for outpatient medical therapy and outpatient treatment and they'll require actually urgent treatment in the emergency room. But people feel their episodes of atrial fibrillation very differently. Uh, there are people when they get episodes of atrial fibrillation who just feel tired. Uh, but there are some people who feel short of breath or they feel dizzy or lightheaded and, or even having chest pain and having severe symptoms when they develop their episodes of atrial fibrillation. <laughs> and when, so if you're having episodes of atrial fibrillation and you're having severe symptoms, dizzy, lightheaded, even passing out, chest pain. Doesn't matter where the number is of the heart rate. It doesn't matter if it's 120, 150, or even higher. If you're having severe symptoms, that's what really drives your need to have urgent medical attention. Now you may want to discuss with your own personal doctor uh, tactics or strategy to have at home when you get episodes of atrial fibrillation. Uh, for some of my patients, I usually would, might recommend taking additional medications uh, to help try to alleviate the symptoms to see if they can go away at home to try to minimize uh, trips to the, to the emergency room. So it certainly could be a useful strategy for patients, but please discuss with your doctor given your individual medications and if it's safe to take extra medication if you get an episode of atrial fibrillation. But again, it's more of the symptoms that drive a need to go to the emergency room. It's not necessarily the heart rate number. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.